Howdy people and welcome to this video where we're going to be getting three gun rock on the object 268 one of the tier 10 TDs that is uh, well long forgotten because uh, well, most of the tier 10 TDs kind of received pretty big nerfs uh, some patches ago so yeah not so fun to play anymore I guess in any case we're on highway I'll explain to you why this tag is not so fun to play anymore too. Um, well, first of all, the shell velocity is very, very bad on this one. It feels like you're shooting with a KV2 derp. Also, the traverse speed of it is also pretty bad. Um, top speed is okay-ish, I guess. No top speed okay-ish. Yeah, I tried a snapshot there, but, you know, that was never gonna hit. Um, armor... Let's just say the armor will get you a couple of bounces from time to time, but it's not exactly reliable. It just needs people to know where to shoot, you know? And it's one of those tanks that relies on camouflage. Well, since most of the maps have been turned into corridor maps and a lot of the vegetation and bushes removed, you can understand why it's a major pain right now to play tier 10 TDs, especially turtless tier 10 TDs. It's a major disadvantage not having a turret. In any case, we're on highway, and uh, well, the plan was to go here a little bit, maybe push the, the A1. They didn't have so many medium tanks, that's exactly why I wanted to do this. You know, I'm, I'm taking a big risk, because they're probably going to have a lot of uh, TDs in their base, just waiting for us to, to come out. I want to take a shot on this T5A now. But, you know, because of the terrible shell velocity, you will miss a lot of shots like those. Yeah. That's why, for example, the Grill 15 is so good at tier 10. It has really, really nice shell velocity. By all means, I think all TDs should have that good shell velocity. Because after all, well, TDs were meant to be like ambush tanks, right? So, without the shell velocity, what's the point of them? In any case, I want to be a bit more aggressive here and push. Uh, I needed the damage for the three gun Macrinos, and I snapshot it. Also, the gun, I forgot to mention, the gun handling is also pretty pretty annoying. It's not really that great, so... Let's see if we can pop a shot into the TF5 here. I made sure I fully aimed this time. Yeah, just so I don't miss. So you can bend the turret of the TF5 with no problem. Or TF4, you know. Or any, um, like, Russian medium tank turret. Maybe not a TF6 through A. That's yeah, a little bit harder, but most of them you should be able to pen them or overmatch them with this kind of gun. In any case, I want to get a little bit closer. This bulldog, uh, well, I think he was going to get some spots, and uh, I'm going to wait a little bit to see what he, what he provides. It's 6-2 so far, and I guess you might think that uh, we're going to win this. we got a big advantage. Well, let's see how the game plays out. Waiting for some spots. There's a Yak Panzer there. Uh, I had high explosive loaded though, unfortunately, because I was getting ready to, to shoot grills. So that went pretty bad. I just shot the Yak Panzer instead of the Centurion because I wanted to detrack him. There's a lot of guns in the back that could have shot him, but I didn't even get a detrack, so it was a, it was a fail shot for the most part. But if I would have luckily maybe shot a grill, could have been for a major damage hit. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to climb up here. Um, I really hope the city is gonna is gonna stand there. You know, enemy tank, enemy team doesn't really have a lot of tanks in the city, so we're gonna try to be a bit more aggressive here. But the enemy enemy team kind of pulled way back, and they can defend really good from the nine line. We can't really attack so well, and they got tanks in every part, so this will be kind of terrible. And if I want to push somewhere, they're gonna shoot me from all over the place. Well, the big mistake my team is doing now is pushing in all these guys here. And all of a sudden we lost three tanks, man. Three tanks. And it's four tanks. Six, six. Because for some reason they decided just to yellow in all those TDs that are waiting there. Don't know why, but yeah, I'm I'm still staying here in the back. I'm uh, I'm trying to like find a good angle to shoot these guys, but I'm not finding any. So 
soon enough I would probably have to go back to base, seeing that most of my tanks that were here died. Still got two grills, three grills, uh, two now because one of them died. I don't know what they keep pushing in, honestly. Oh. I want to see if anything comes from here. Maybe I can, maybe I can flank that centurion. But we lost our advantage. Like, this, this would have been like a 100% one game. If the team wouldn't have pushed in, instead, like went back and tried to attack the city instead. Yeah. Well, I got nothing left to do, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back because. They just suicided. There's a new 100 going for that Rhymel out there. I want to see if I can uh, if I can get a shot into him. But I gotta get a little bit closer. Let's see, I got a big side of a new 100. Nice. There we go, I popped a nice shot into him. Would have been good if the... Ah, uh, no, the E4 killed the grill. I was about to say, would have been good if the E4 would have shot the E100, but... He had like 984 health or something, so... Gotta go back to base. This is pretty much lost, I guess. All I can do now is get some more damage out of the game because the team completely threw it. We had really good advantage at the beginning, it was 6 2. Now it's 7 10 for them, so. Just the pleasures are just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to call it. Like, like the team manages to throw waste super easy games at times it's, it's not even it's unbelievable I gotta go and kill this 50B here because if I don't he's gonna come and uh, crossfire us luckily he stopped to shoot the, the GV so I got time to aim and even more so I get a fire on him because I uh, didn't kill him in one hit so he's dead we're not gonna get crossfire right now I wanted to go in and see if I can shoot anything in the E4 spots, but he died, so... Let's, last ditch resort, boys. Go back to base and count our losses. Gorilla Wars, try to try to get the most of what we got right now. I'm gonna go close to the uh, to the cap circle, maybe on a J3 or something, and just wait. Because I'm kind of expecting the E100 to come from the, from the city. We'll see how that goes. It's kind of weird that I'm getting all these three marks. Yeah, someone actually told me I'm getting a lot of three marks only on the feed games, man. <laughs> it's weird. You gotta think the gun marks don't don't care if you win or lose the game. Yeah, thankfully, because then it would be a real pain in the ass. Just think about it, having to win the game too in order to, to increase on gun marks. Wow. So I'm just gonna park myself here next to the building. I got cover from the left side, so I can only watch this JK line corridor and shoot if anything comes. Well, I should have enough V range to outspot anything that comes in. I'm just hoping it's a it's a new 100 or one of them big tanks with bad camouflage. Yeah. Normally, we could still possibly win this because we got two grills, you know. Those things can be very mobile. So, in any case, they could have acted like some kind of scouts and like going down here under the ridge, maybe getting some spots or something. I'm fairly slow and turretless, so I can't do any of those silly things, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have tried. But them grills, well, at least they're covering. One of them is covering the one-two line. And one of them is here with me. But I would have been much happier if one of them would have dropped a little bit lower. In the bushes, maybe try to get some spots. Who knows? Yeah, nothing's happening. I could literally watch paint dry right now. <laughs> it will be the same. We're kind of running out of time. Oh, there's full HP 4 come now. I gotta relocate. And go help that side. Still got a full HP grill. I'm just hoping it doesn't do something stupid like just staying there and getting shot by. Wow. He literally stood on top of the hill and got shot by everybody. Yeah, well, I guess that was the stupid thing I, I, I said I hope he doesn't do. All I can do now is stay in the bushes and let him come. Maybe pop a shot or two. That's it. 
Well, pretty much the same way like we lost the game, you know? Everybody just throwing away the advantage. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't be spotted the Yemen in the grass, you know? <laughs> Advanced grass tactics. This grill shot, so I'm pretty sure this one is gonna peek out to shoot him now. Enough time for me to pop another shell on him. A fat one. I don't know what this grill is doing now. He kind of went behind me, so I couldn't move. We gotta. Yeah, I was lucky that he didn't hit me there. We gotta kill the centurion. And whatever is coming in here. Remember, this was for the three gun mark, so I'm really, really trying hard to get a little bit more damage out of this game. So I can get it. Something shooting me from the other side. There we go, man. Wow, I managed to pop a really fat 900 roll in the in the E Force Commander Satch. I think that was a VK shooting me from the right side, yeah. And I know I'm gonna reload faster than the E4. So I popped another shot. I think I hit his uh, his two cheeks. I'm hoping that this grill doesn't hit me. Oh, well, he did, but he low rolled, thankfully. I don't know what the fuck he's shooting heat though. He <laughs> he just auto aim me, but never mind. So I'm dead right now. The only good thing that can happen is me getting one more shot of damage. And we popped the snapshot, and we got the E4. There we go. It was a defeat, but still. We managed to get the three gun Macarinos. Um We even got a high caliber, 58 key credits, 1095 XP. We finished with 5046 uh, damage, 3 kills, 457 base XP. Even got 929 assist damage. And we lost 7.6k credits, mainly because I was running... Um, I was riding rations, and if this would have been a victory, I probably wouldn't have lost credits. But yeah, rations made me lose some credits here. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell me what you think about the 268 in the comments below. You think you still think it's good? Think it's bad? I don't know. Let me know. And uh, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.